Thank you for joining me for an episode of Just Legal History. I'm your host, Mike, and today is Friday, March 8th. There is always something going on in the legal world. As several trials finished up this week, another one began, and there was a back and forth in the Delphi case, plus some U.S. Supreme Court decisions regarding the presidential election. Let's start with the trials that finished. The Hannah Gutierrez trial finished up Wednesday. We heard closing arguments followed by the jury instructions. I thought there was a chance that the jury would deliberate for a while, but they actually came back with a verdict that afternoon. They found Hannah guilty on involuntary manslaughter, but not guilty on tampering with evidence. She could spend up to 18 months in prison for, for that conviction, and we await the sentencing in the next few months. Next up will be the Alec Baldwin trial in July. I'm not sure what that case will mean for that, for that one. Another trial that reached a verdict today was the trial for Robin Howington. She was found guilty of reckless homicide of shooting her five-year-old daughter, plus other charges that stemming from trying to cover it up. Robin tried to blame everyone for the shooting, including her two-year-old. Sentencing will be in April. Up next, a new trial started. This one for James Crumbly. He is on trial for four counts of involuntary manslaughter in relation to his son's killing four people at the school. James's wife was found guilty of the same charges a few weeks ago. The argument is that James could have known and done things to stop his son from shooting people at the school. He also bought the gun for James, and he attended the counselor meet the meeting the same day of the shooting. Today we heard testimony from the assistant principal who talked about what happened in the school hallway during the shooting. We also heard from a sheriff who interviewed the Crumleys after the shooting. It looks like the trial will go into the middle of next week. In the Delphi case, the defense put together their list of witnesses for the upcoming contempt hearing. That hearing will start on March 18th. There was also some back and forth about the motion to get Richard Allen's mental records. Normally get into political cases, but this week the U.S. Supreme Court heard oral arguments about how the Colorado Supreme Court ruled that Donald Trump could be taken off the ballot due to the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment. The court ruled in an unanimous, unanimous decision that it is up to Congress and not each state to set the procedures for removing someone from a ballot. So right now, Trump can be on all the ballots. Also, the Supreme Court has set a time for oral arguments to hear about presidential immunity. The decision is how this will... The question is how this will affect the upcoming election and whether or not the, rule, the ruling would come out before the election. 